Hey, it's Jeff at SeedCode. In this blog series, we've been working on adding a new module into SeedCode Complete, and we're calling it Supplies. And what we've done so far is create these buttons down here that let us click to show a new sidebar panels here in this slide control, uh, which we've also created new. Uh, so next, what we need to do is we need to map the objects on these slide panels so that they work with our new Supplies table. Uh, so the first thing, of course, is to create that table. Let's go into the model file, and I'm going to create my new data table by duplicating the um, items table here. Let's go to the list of tables. I'm going to copy-paste the items table here since that's the module that I've been using as sort of my model. Rename it supplies and save that. Let's come back to the UI file here, and there's a few things that we need to do before we um, go into layout mode. And uh, first thing is to go to this table here, select selector filters. And we need three global fields here to support each module. Each module. So I'm going to start with this one, my items glob, change that name to my supplies. I just duplicated it. Same thing with recent. Um, instead of items, that's supplies. So I'm just duplicating each of these. And then this one, item selector filter glob, duplicate that supply. That one's got the singular in the name. Okay, so I've got those three global fields now ready. Uh, let's go into scripts now and let's look at the home scripts folder and in that home scripts folder we have um, a subfolder uh, for each module, right? Contacts, companies, projects, and so forth. Again, inventory, also known as items, is the one that we are essentially duplicating. So I'm going to copy that folder and just paste my copy right up there. Um, and from here, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to rename the folder, and eventually I'll rename each of these scripts. But I'll do that. I'll pause the video for that. Um, but first, I want to point out that we've already um, created a couple of the scripts we need. The select supply panel, that's a copy of select inventory panel. And supply detail home is a copy of item detail home. And uh, we did, we didn't, we duplicated those scripts um, elsewhere, and so they just ended up in the same folder. We're going to be a little more methodical about that starting now. So, first, I'm going to delete those two scripts from my new supplies folder, um, select supply panel, because I've got that here, select supply panel, and that goes here at the, uh, at the top. It's just like this one. And uh, same thing down here. We have the su supply detail home, so I don't need it there, and I don't need the item version. So I'm going to delete those two, move this up here. So now we should have corresponding scripts, uh, the same set of scripts here in the home supplies folder as we do in inventory. Uh, so, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll rename these scripts, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've just got this one more to rename, so I'm changing the word item to supply and removing the two on each of these. So now I've got all my scripts here that are going to be used on the home screen for supplies, and um, we'll see how those uh, get mapped here uh, when we go into layout mode. So let's go back and do that. In layout mode, uh, we are on, let's see, let's make sure we're on the right panel. That makes it easy. So I'm going to slide to my supplies panel, then go into layout mode. And first, let me, I'm going to move a bunch of stuff around here, then I'll revert those changes. But first, I just want to get to know this layout and see that uh, if I double click here, so this is, this is connected to one of those global fields that I duplicated. So, for example, here I would choose the uh, selector supply, so selector filter glob. Uh, I'm not going to save that right yet because I just want to go through this. I, there's a bunch of layered objects here that I want to get to know. Uh, a lot of them have a hide object when rule down here. You see that, and that's referring to one of those uh, globals that uh, has the word items in it. So that needs to be mapped to the uh, supplies version of that field. Um, and uh, same thing here. And then here's my actual button that's associated with a script. Okay, so that's in that folder. Toggle recent items filter. See how that works. And of course, the search button here. That's associated with the script, so I just move. I'm going to change that to be associated with the corresponding script there. Again, I'm not going to save that just yet. Um, right here, there's a layered object. It's a button. Again, a script. 
um, that one's actually mapped to the right uh, um, script already because we did that in a previous video. Uh, let me just move that out of the way temporarily um, to see the objects below. Rows, items, okay, I need to go create a new relationship. I'll show you that in a second. And then these are individual fields through that relationship in our new, which will be in our new supplies uh, table, okay? Uh, this rows relationship is, um, is a virtual list. Um, so that should do it for this slide panel. Let me just revert everything I just mangled. And uh, let's quickly come into uh, Manage Database. And let me show you that um, here's our rows table, okay? And again, there's a, there's a version of, there's a TO for each um, module here. So rows, items, and we see how that's defined. Um, item ID calc, okay, so I, I do need another field in the rows table too, and then the refresh. So while we're here, let's go to rows and duplicate that field, item ID calc, supply ID calc, okay, and then come back over here. And okay, actually just realize that's a calc field that looks at a global variable, so we'll be populating that variable in one of the scripts. And uh, back here to relationships, let's go ahead and duplicate rows items. And this is going to be for rows supplies. And that is mapped to the new supplies table that's over in the model file. And from here, I'm going to connect that TO and make sure that it, it uses the same sort of um, definition here. Item ID calc to ID. So that would basically be uh, my supply. ID calc to ID. Let's change that. And then the uh, refresh, um, I believe, is like that. Let's go double check. Refresh. Yes. Okay. So that, so that uh, relationship is going to work now. So what I'll do now is I'll pause the video again. I'll go into layout mode. I'll map all these objects on this panel. I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got this working. I wanted to show you, though, that I had to make a couple of changes in the seed code control file, starting with uh, a table occurrence mapped to our new supplies table, um, a layout, which is just blank, uh, but I needed a layout because I also had to um, make a new script. This one, return supply IDs, because it's referenced in one of my uh, scripts in the UI file. And to make this script, I duplicated the return item IDs script and then just remapped everything to the corresponding elements um, that relate to my new supplies table. So this layout, for example, uh, these fields and any variable names. So that's in the control file. And then I was able to uh, remap all the elements in my new uh, home, my new scripts in the home supplies uh, folder. And uh, so that all worked. And so what we end up with is on our layout here, um, I was able to remap the um, all the uh, elements on this slide panel so that they work with my new table. And as you can see, I put some um, sample data into that table and so we can search it now. Okay, and these scripts work, all the script triggers and all the buttons and um, the conditional formatting and the hide object when rules. So let's, uh, let's end there and in the next blog post, um, we'll talk about uh, the other slide panel that you would go to when you click here to show uh, more detail about this item. And then after that, we'll create a new layout uh, for this new table. And that's uh, where we can uh, view even more detail about the selected record and any rela related records in other tables. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.